Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And I had somebody the other day was, uh, they were giving me some advice on, you know, log interval tracking and activity recording or how you see your tracks that are being laid down. So I want to go over that a little bit with you today to clear some things up because I've interchanged some terminology in past videos, so let's get this straight today. Before I do that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. All right, I don't want to confuse you. Let's try to keep this simple. The log interval is something that you set, and you can set it between two minutes and maybe two hours or so, and I'll have that information up on the screen, but let me grab that right now. It's not a log interval. I have seen log interval before, but on the Mini 2 it says send interval. And it goes from two minutes to four hours. Now, I don't believe that two minutes shows up for you unless you have the Expedition subscription plan. Without that, I think it's either five or 10 minutes. But that log or send interval is really for people who are watching you. So if you go onto your map share page and you send emails to people, or you could share with Facebook and Instagram or Twitter. And if you go on there and you share your location and you then, I would also say, I would recommend if it's family and friends, make sure they can message you. Cause that's one of the only ways to initiate a message with a Garmin inReach user. But that log or send interval is for them to see how many times uh, you lay down your tracks, uh, the details of where you're at. So when I'm out on a short hike, sometimes I'll have it on two minutes just because I want more information to show up on the screen if I want to show you my map share page from the link. But if I'm going out on a week long trip, like I'm gonna be out here in about, a, about three weeks, I'm gonna set my log interval to about an hour or two hours. And I'll make sure my family and friends who I'm sharing it with will, they know how to use, get to that link and they know how to get around and see me on the map and also be able to message me if they want to. All right, that's the log or send interval. The other thing is the activity recording and there's standard and there's high detail. And it comes on standard and that's always been plenty for me to be able to get back. But I set mine on high detail because I am one videoing. I want to show you more information. And I like to see more detail about how I've come in on my hike. And that it doesn't bother me that it takes up a bit more of the battery and it puts more tracks down because I have the expedition subscription plan. So I have unlimited tracks, unlimited messages. So I don't care about how many tracks it puts down. But that's what the activity recording does. It when you when I've hiked in here, it showed the, all these little dots uh, on the way in. That's the activity recording, and mine's on high detail. The last thing I want to bring up real quick is tracking. Now, tracking is they're all kind of related here, but tracking is a bit different. It's not the log interval. That's something you set so that people can see where you're at. But the tracking with the start tracking or says tracking, that is one, you have to hit that in order for people who have the map share link to see where you're at. If you don't start tracking, then they're not going to see you. So it's important to do that. Now, if I'm on a long trip and I'm going to be out multiple days and I don't want to remember to have to start tracking every day when I wake up, I'll have it on auto tracking. So I'll turn it off at night. So when, and then when I turn it on in the morning, it's automatically tracking. So if I forget, I can't, it doesn't matter because people will still be able to see where I'm at. The other thing about the tracking is you will not see the high detail or standard detail on the activity recording unless you start tracking. If you just start walking without hitting tracking, it's not going to record that activity on standard or high detail. It'll show where you're at. You'll still see your triangle on the screen and on the Explorer app, but it's, you're not going to get that high detail or whatever you set it to, standard or high. So I just want to recommend always set tracking when you take off on your adventure now if you're trying to save money and you're on a safety plan or recreation plan you probably wouldn't you don't want to do it but that's where if you if you do want to have tracking and you're going to be on a longer adventure then upgrade to the expedition a subscription plan for that month then go back to the other plan or suspend your account if you're not on annual 
So you're not being charged for those months you're not using it or you don't need all those tracks. All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions or if I've said anything incorrect, please leave a comment below. I am out here all the time testing these and I find that I always have something new to learn. Well, thanks for joining me and please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. And I'll see you back out here in Colorado in the next video.